You ever been on a podcast before, Nick? Yeah, every week. Oh, you do one every week, huh? On average, I'd say. Um, I was how's this one going so far? So far, so good. I'd say Pretty so. Good. I think it's one of the better podcasts. It's kind of a chill chill atmosphere today. The chill We're doing it a little one, earlier that's one than word. usual. Chill atmosphere. Chill atmosphere. The microphone, um, we're, see where it has a symbol on it? Are you trying to tell me how to use a microphone? Well, this one specifically doesn't pick up from the sides. So, so talk right, right there. What are you talking about? <laughs> right there, it's not going to pick up very well. <laughs> see if you talk directly into it. So you're saying this is a cardioid. Oh, thank you. I don't know a lot of the terms. I, I did most of my uh, learning off of Amazon.com when I bought this equipment. Um, what's your favorite uh, <coughs> brand of microphone? Mm, Neumann? Neumann? Yeah. What's that do? It's just a good singing mic. It's a uh, German microphone that's has microphones that every you know it's kind of the go-to the cadillac of microphones cadillacs <laughs> are just old people drive those yeah so it's the old people microphone right like an old lady microphone yeah so it's like an old lady microphone i'm gonna call nick in a second i'm gonna call duncan really it's fast like a microphone on crack why are you calling duncan because i want to tell him something oh. or i'll keep this oh yeah Hey, Duncan, how's it going? This is uh, BW and the Ran Man and uh, Nick Thorburn from Islands. We're all here on the Bone Zone podcast. Hey, Duncan, how you been? How's it going? Really great, man. Did you go to Korean barbecue with me? Me? Y yes, I did. Who is this? Nick. N this is Nick speaking. Nick Thorburn. Yeah. Yeah. Nick, sorry you got on. You sorry, sorry you're on the shitty podcast circuit. You shouldn't let people suck you into uh, these kinds of internet Ponzi schemes. <laughs> these two fools will ruin you. I guarantee you, do you, have, do you have a way to check your album sales? Because I can promise you that they're dropping right now. <laughs> Just, this oh. will be today. You'll notice like a low, lower album sales. And then over the course of the next week, it'll diminish into no sales. So like people start returning albums? That, yeah, that's well. Yeah, that's the end. That's what's called the bone zone effect. Well, you know is, what? Actually, I'll um, fuck you, Duncan. Because hey, everybody, uh, just email us at bonezonepodcast at gmail dot com, and I'll tell you how to get all Nick's albums for free from uh, torrent sites. So there you go. There you go. How does that feel? It's like being invited to do a podcast with a coyote that, instead of a tail, has a stinger. You think Brendan Walsh is a good person? Like a scorpion That's coyote? <laughs> what? Are you saying I'm like a scorpion coyote? Yeah, you're like a scorpion coyote. You lure people into that shit den. No doubt you've given them one of the, your crappy Long Island iced teas with your low-grade liquor. They haven't you offered me anything me to drink. By the way... What's that? They haven't offered me anything to drink, actually. That's actually... That's Randy's uh -oh. department, and he dropped the ball on that. Oh, I did make some homemade... Um, seltzer lemon lime seltzer water i can get you some if you want some of that it's homemade yeah i'd love some okay Thanks. i'll get you some in a second i just want is that the first for you so wait wait you have your guests on the show and you don't even offer them anything to drink oh he was really anxious to get started <laughs> no, I wasn't. he sat down he was like oh this is where it all happens i've dreamt about this and then we started i've never heard the show and i'm deeply regret regretting my decision he started asking us a bunch of questions about different episodes me and randy were like yeah i don't know they all kind of blend together but well, yeah we'll sign whatever i yeah. didn't ask them i was like questions. oh that was so terrible memorable. yeah that, that happened to me too and then walsh also known as the moron of hollywood <laughs> will uh tweet me and try to bully me into being back on the show but i would rather be in a bouncy house filled with used diapers than be on the bone. Of course you would, because you're a shit rather... person. Yeah, you're, you're a shitty person. What? You want to be surrounded by shitty diapers. You that eat, makes sense. You eat child poop. <laughs> That's just joking around. How you Randy been, Duncan? Randy sucks baby shit out of newborn's asses right after they're born. That's that's what Duncan used to do as a job. He used to work at a hospital, and when babies were born, they would... Uh... Yeah, you have to get it out, otherwise they get sick, and it's yeah. really black and kind of tar-like, the very first poop. And then um, now Duncan's main yes. hobby is having yeah, uh, using great. child slave labor. Wait, hold on. Don't just brush over what you, the disinformation you guys just said. Did I work in hospitals? 
testing uh, uh, infant excrement with my mouth to make sure that the infants weren't sick in uh, uh, in hospitals in un- hospitals in inner cities. Yes, I did do that because guess what? A lot of those hospitals don't have the state of the art equipment that you need to test to, uh, to make sure a baby's healthy. And the number one way to see if your baby's healthy is to taste. Is to get some drug addled, um, drug addled failed comedian to wrap his lips around your baby's asshole. He's right. They call that a fecal. Okay, well, they now, call now that now a you fecal sound like the sons of bitches who fired me from the hospital. <laughs> so you can fuck yourself. I was there for a reason. I wanted to help. I was trying to make sure these babies were healthy. And uh, you know, if the we- if Western medicine doesn't want to acknowledge that the taste buds are the number one way to determine if a person's healthy by putting their night soil, which is the polite way to say excrement in your mouth. Night then soil? Fuck it. <laughs> what is duty like night soil. The, the poop that a baby makes so the baby's never even eaten real food. It's just getting nutrients from inside its mom's belly and then it makes poop out of it. What does that uh, end up being Thanks. like? What does it taste like? First of all, thank you for being the first person on this ridiculous non-medical. I hate talking about medical stuff with people who aren't medical. But oh, I'm medical. To, 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 what? I said, oh, I'm medical. I yeah, get Randy's you. medical. Randy no, has Randy wears not. uh prescription he's not, underwear. I'm medical. I'm medical. <laughs> and I'll tell you this. Let me tell you this. The the what you said is exactly right. A baby is essentially a tube. Where I come from, we call an angel tube. And uh, the night soil that comes out of a baby, if the baby is healthy, will taste like cinnamon. If the baby is unhealthy, it'll have a spicy paprika flavor. A little bit spicier. And that's how you tell if a baby's healthy. There's no germs in a baby. This is the kind of shit that the abortionists say. This is why people like to poke their uh, night sticks into pregnant ladies' pussies and smash in that sweet hot head. Because they think that it's poop that's contaminated. Yeah, I've heard that. Hello? Hey, Duncan, what's up? This is Randy. How you been? Great, man. Look, I got to go. Uh, good luck to you guys. I hope you get a few extra um, Before you go, can you um, can we actually, Randy, he ordered a discounted uh, Duncan Trussell Family Hour uh, sticker package. Oh, here we go. By the way, and, I've uh, seen he your never bone got bone it. shirt. He never got it. I, I've, uh, seen, I've seen your shit bone zone merchandise yeah high quality looks, all 100 like made, made in the usa prisoners made made in the usa by uh people we make sure that our all of our workers are paid uh double the minimum wage everything's made That's right here in the us of a and uh everything's That's shipped out immediately <laughs> and um at That's a reasonable a cost so how's uh so the how's your overpriced yeah. irregular slave labor um t-shirts that what do you what do you use for thread again? Is it just like See, this is this is where you're making one of the biggest mistakes of your career? Oh, alerting everybody I'll tell you what. to your ripoff factory? No, no. Here's a word my to everybody: shirts, if you if you order this shirts, the my, Duncan my Trussell sticker made, pack, my shirts are made. What's that? If if you order the Duncan Trussell sticker pack, don't hold your breath for it to be delivered because it won't be. They don't exist. It's just something you put on his site to bilk his poor. Uh, learning disabled listeners out of an extra five dollars to line his pockets with, so he can go buy hey, cheap fucking you, drugs you, at a rave for like teenagers. You sound like a fucking idiot right now. Do you understand how much time I put into the distribution mechanism of the Duncan Trussell Family Hour? I'm not like you. I don't sit in my let me guess. You set up a apartment wearing a fucking G string and rubbing my balls on every T-shirt that I send to my 15 fans nine of which consist of my close fr- family. Wait, how does he know Give you're wearing that? Give me a fucking that? break. He doesn't know shit. This you is Duncan Trussell's. This is, you, this is how you set one up your merchandise. About- you just open a PayPal account, what, what? took some pictures, and put it up on your site, and then you just watch the money roll in, and you don't yeah. deliver any of these uh, <clears throat> false sure. products that you have advertised on your site. One of the funny things about Brennan Walsh, for everyone who, for all four people who listen to this podcast, one of the funny things about Brennan Walsh is he is a notorious coke addict. 
And there's a lot of funny stories in the comedy community about how he uh, goes out on the road and ends up giving hand jobs to some of his audience members who've been doing cocaine in the hopes that their semen will get him hot. That's now, well, that's you're stretching the truth. That's that's uh, that's a total exaggeration. Uh, I am in show business. I like to party. I don't have any addictions. Um, you know, I'll go to Hollywood parties and sometimes a little, you know, sometimes people party. How do, you get high on, how do you, when you go on the road, tell me how you get cocaine? Because the last time I heard you running on at the mouth about how you save money on cocaine is you compared a man, a man on cocaine's penis to the udder of a rocket cow. Well, this is all just, this is... Duncan's high on something now. Hey Duncan, he's just not even or what did you sense. say? Yes. Hey Duncan, this is Randy. Hey, um, what Korean barbecue restaurant did you and Nick eat at? Duple Jeep, I think. Was it good? What'd you get? It was good. I was good too. Be led into one of your idiotic traps. Well, that's not a did trap. You, I'm just curious. Did you get you, like? You did you get beef or pork? Luring. Did you, get, did you get beef or pork, or did you get, like, mushrooms, or what did you get? Look, I don't have the, I, I'm sorry, but I don't have the uh, Korean barbecue menu in front of me in the hopes that... And he definitely doesn't have a receipt, Earth, because he uh, left without paying that night. Without my permission to record my call in the state of California, which is completely illegal, uh, I don't keep a, a Korean barbecue menu nearby so I can entertain... YouTube dope. I'm just so like, I'm you sorry. know, Maybe next- from one foodie to another, I'm just curious, me and you, big foodies, and uh, just curious how your experience was. See, Maybe I could recommend another go. place. Now I'm a foodie. Yeah, you're a total foodie. I've seen you on the foodie sites. He's a walkout on his checky, too. Yeah. Remember how you left without oh, paying yeah. that night, Duncan? You and that uh, whatever escort you hired for the evening, you probably ripped her off, too. Here's the difference between my insults and your insults. My insults are true. You guys just have a bowl of insults from the book, insults for 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 babies to use. Oh, what you just pull out these. Are you re- are you reading that well, out of your Timothy insults. Leary's guide to acid use? Dumble. What? Are you reading? Are you quoting from that book, Timothy Leary's guide to how to be an acid head? You fucking filthy hippie. <laughs> All right. Hey, by the way, man, is, remember when remember when your mom came over to our Thanksgiving party and she had that horrible yeast infection and everyone was complaining because they thought somebody had dropped bread in the toilet when she came out of the bathroom? That's not true. That's not true. My yes, mom went is. into the bathroom, she was eating a dinner roll, and she dropped it in the toilet. It was an accident. <laughs> no, no. It was because she left her yeast medication on the sink. No. Remember? And she had to come back. She That's had to tube drive of all the way back with you drunk and blabbering, and and you had to come in and get your mom's vaginal yeast cream. Remember that? No, well, that was look, probably one go. of your you uh, peyote hallucinations. Uh, We're gonna have sorry, to let you go, Duncan. Uh, please listen. Please listen to Island. It's a great band, and uh, I'll put a link on my website because I'm sure these assholes won't do anything to help their guests. Bye now. Thanks. Hey, wait, Duncan. We got we only got one time for one more question. Go ahead. Let us know. Uh, one more question. You ready? Oh, that was hung rude. up. Just total hung up. That's rude. Sorry about that, Nick. Yeah, I thought that was going to be. I mean, it, it was light and fun, but I thought it was going like to be. A nice guy. I thought it was going to be a little more fun, but eh, what can you do? It's just one of those days, you know. It's just one of those lazy summer days. Mm. Yeah.